what a morning it's been. Um, I'm here in the lakes again, just in case you haven't gathered. Um, about 20 minutes later than I wanted to be. I've had a bit of a nightmare. Um, tried my best to get out on time, get my daughter to school, and then get on the motorway. Except I ended up on the wrong motorway. Um, for some reason I joined the M58 instead of the M6. So that's added 15 minutes onto my time. And then I stopped at the services and then I got stuck behind a car with a, um, a bolt on the back of it on a trailer. So I was stuck there for 15 minutes waiting for him to fill up and then go and pay um, for his fuel. But I'm here finally and I have to say this view makes all that stress worthwhile. Just look at that. sprinkling of snow over on Blencathra. So this first one is High Rig. I'm parked up um, just outside Thirlmere I think and it's it's a fell on its own so it's going to be a straight up and a straight down back in the car and then over to Wormbos where I'm going to be doing um, there's four, four peaks there. So that's the main main run. I just wanted to get this one while I was in the vicinity and then it's done. And as usual, I've come the wrong way. I'm heading up towards low rig when I should be heading up to high rig which is that one over there so back down we go it wouldn't be a run or a trip in the fells with me if I didn't go the wrong way at least once Right, let's try again, shall we? Heading up to High Rig from um, the Carlisle Diocese Youth Club, I think it is, that's where I've parked. Um, and it's gonna be just a straight up and down this one. And then I'm going to move on to um, both and do a circular. Um, four fells over there. Um, sun's out. Left my sunglasses in the car. Um, I've had rain, snow, hail on the journey up here. So I'm guessing I'll have the same in the mountains today, which adds to the fun. Um, quite a steep climb now. I think it's only about a quarter of a mile, half a mile to the top. So hopefully it won't take me too long to get up there and then run down back to the car. Um, right.
morning. Peak number one. Hi, Rick. Let's just take a moment to appreciate the view. So that's where we're heading next. I don't know if you can see Thirlmere in the background, um, but we're heading up to those fells just on the right hand side. Right, let's head back to the car. I'm back at the car park. Oh, that was quite a steep descent that. Um, I didn't feel completely comfortable just going for it and running all the way down. Um, but I managed to fast walk. Um, so I'd given myself an hour to take that one off the list. And I've actually been up and back in less than half an hour. Um, and that includes going the wrong way for about 10 minutes. So, really good going. I've just got a bit of a drive now to get over to Amboth and then I can start my um, big walk for the day. Catch up with you later. Right, now for round two. I've arrived at Amboth. It was raining quite heavy when I've just got out of the car, so I've put the jacket on and now it's stopped. Um, I have a feeling it's gonna be like this all day on and off so just gotta make the best of it so i'm heading up now to Amboth fell and then i'm going on to high tove um high seat which is one i have done previously but i need to hit that one to then go across to raven crag so on this walk i'll be hitting four Wayne rights, but only three of them will be new ones for me. Um, I think it's it's about seven miles maybe, so I'm hoping a few hours um, then I'll be done. Alright, let's crack on, climbing straight away. Deep climb up, you can just see Helvellyn just at the other side of Thelmia, covered in snow. Oh, that looks lovely. Now, I've read a lot about these fells that I'm climbing today, um, that they're really, really boggy usually, and they follow the same ridge line as Ulscarth that I climbed a couple of weeks ago which I didn't really enjoy because I did end up in a couple of bogs up to the knee um, so yeah I'm expecting the same today it's just started raining again um, might actually be hailstorm that um, there's actually 
a lot of water running down the footpath um, on the way up to um, both fell so that's telling me that I'm in for a treat it's going to be very wet and soggy um, but it's all part of the fun that's why we do it and it just takes my mind off work off housework kids I can just switch off and think about why my feet cold and my shoes are soggy um, and I'm wet through yeah it's all good Coat on, coat off, coat on, coat off. What's the betting it's off again in five minutes? Oh. How do I cross this? I'm not even on the ridge where it's notoriously boggy and I'm already squelching so that's not a good sign at all but oh, it stopped raining always a bonus oh. well they weren't wrong about these bogs um, it's making it very difficult to run um, but the sun's out, look at that now. Crazy weather. Right, so that was um, both fell, so that's one done. Um, I didn't want to do any recording at the top because there's about four or five people up there. Um, so I've had a minute, took in the view, and now I'm heading across to High Tub, which is the second one on this round. Looks like a pretty straightforward path all the way up. Um, it's going to be quite boggy. Ground's very wet. Um, but yeah, I knew that was going to be the case.
high tove. Oh. Second way right of this circuit. Third one of the day. Oh. Look at Helvelling over there. Absolutely stunning. Don't think I'd be brave enough to climb climb it today though. Um, but I'm sure there'll be plenty of people who are. Oh. Right, hand on to high seat. I'm making um, really good time. I've only been out for less than an hour doing this circuit and I'm already halfway through. Um, so hopefully I'll be back home for three o'clock to go and pick my daughter up from school. Now they've done um, a footpath along here somewhere, I believe up to up to high seat um, because it's so boggy, obviously to help people um, to get across. So that'll be a welcome change. Um, although my feet are cold and squelchy now, so it doesn't really matter to me, I'm used to it. So I can see the footpath just ahead, but this is what the footpath has replaced. And there we go, it's like the yellow brick road. That was short lived, back to bog now. So that's what it's like without the footpath. Yeah, I can certainly see why they've done it. It's a very welcome addition, I'm sure. There she is, you can just about see the top um, and there's a couple of people up there um, so not too far to go now and then I'll be at the top of high seat right so I'm near the top there's actually two peaks and um, there's one with a tree point and one with a cairn so I'm gonna head to them both Make sure I get the right one. Um, now, I have done this one before and I didn't remember it up until seeing the trig um, across the way. Oh. A 
little bit of snow on this one but not enough to make it really hard which is good looks like somebody's built a snowman on the trig point as well Right, high seat, third one of the circuit, fourth one of the day. Now I'm heading over to Raven Crag, which is the last one. down from high seat I've literally had to come down the fell side um, because there was no footpath and now I've got to cross this so it might be a bit safer up here actually sorted I can see Raven Crag where I'm heading up next. It's the one with all the trees. So it's not too far away, but I think it's quite a climb up. Um, yeah. Just got to get myself on the main footpath, which I think is going here somewhere. Oh yeah it is, I can see it. Oh, happy days. Back on the footpath. I feel like I know where I'm going when I'm on a footpath. I hate it when it's just an open fell and I never know if I'm going the right way. Um, so yeah, I'm my way up to the last one now. Um, and then I'm done, it's, it feels like it's gone really quick which is good because I am on a time limit to get home. Um, it's, um, I think it's trying to rain again. Hopefully I'll be heading into the woods so I'll have a bit of shelter. steps are a killer
Wow. What an amazing view. Fell me right down there. Oh, so peaceful. And it's the first fell today that I've actually had to myself. I think I might just um, stay here for 10 minutes and just soak it up. Right, now to head back the way I came, down the steps, oh. and up the steps. <laughs> road now um, which runs alongside Thelmia so um, yeah I'm on here to the end now the car park is just off this road and I reckon maybe in about half a mile or so um, and then I'm done oh, and I'm back at the car park just short of seven miles, four Wayne rights in that circuit. So five all together, but four to tick off the list. Um, yeah, really enjoyed that. Um, considering I was apprehensive about all the bogs, um, it was a really good, good run. Um, yeah, I'm going to get home now. I'm going to pick my daughter up from school and put my feet up. I think for the rest of the day. Um, thanks for watching, see you next time.